Hey guys, it's Takisa and I'm back with another video. And today is a kind of different video. I am going to be reviewing and wearing a high-end foundation for the first time and just you know testing it out and seeing how I like it, um, seeing how it wears. I do want to wear it for a full day and then show you guys how um, it held up, if I got any creasing, if I got super oily, or anything like that. The foundation that I'm going to be trying out today is the Givenchy Tint Contour, Couture Foundation and I am in the shade Elegant Sienna. Um, I wanted to get another shade but I couldn't because this is Givenchy and your girl was on a budget so um, I just got this one to be safe it looked like it was my color in the store and so yeah I, I just I don't know if it's not my shade then hopefully I can take it back and get the correct shade but for right now I am elegant sienna and as you can see I've already kind of done my brows and a little bit to my eyes nothing too dramatic and then you know a, a simple liner um, so let's get into the review and see how this foundation holds up. So on the packaging it says to shake well. Um, this is the uh, Givenchy Tint Couture Long Wearing Fluid Foundation with Sunscreen. It's illuminating and comfortable and you get 0.8 fluid ounces and that's not a lot, that's almost an ounce. So. I mean that's kind of okay it's not a whole bunch um, for what you're paying for um, I don't remember the exact price but it was up there in like the 50s um, yeah so I'm gonna square a little bit on my hand and um, spread it around on my face and then on both sides of my face I'm going to apply it differently on one side I'm going to use my beauty blender and then on the other side I'm going to use my um, buffer brush so I'm going to go ahead and put up about three squirts on the back of my hand and on this side I'm going to use I think I'm going to use my sponge it looks good so far And I'm going to go ahead with my sponge and I'm just going to blend that out. It looks good. I would say this is a light to medium coverage. Nothing, I can still see my bare skin. It doesn't look like it on my um, screen, but or it might look it might not look like that to you guys but I can still see like my hyperpigmentation and a little bit of my dark marks um, but it did cover a lot but um, I, I said to say that uh, elegant sienna is my shade um, it looks good it matched perfectly and it um, blended out perfect it didn't dry I mean it's illuminating foundation so of course it wouldn't dry and be dry and it looks good that blended out really really nice um, I still have the pumps on the back of my hand I'm gonna pump one more pump and then I'm gonna use my brush on the other side And the brush that I'm going to use is, I don't know, I have a lot of brushes. Okay, I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to use this brush that I got from Walmart. This is a buffer foundation brush. And this is actually one of my favorite brushes. This is a really nice brush. I'm just going to blend it out.
Okay. So it looks like my... Oh, the lighting changed, y'all. Sorry. Okay, see, I'm going to use the last little bit over to this side because the brush didn't really look as well as the sponge. The sponge covered a lot more and got into those crevices like in my under my eye I do have um, natural creasing um, a lot of people actually do but um, so far the foundation looks really really good um, I would use this not on an everyday basis because one this is a so this is so expensive like y'all it hurt me just a little bit to buy this but um, yeah I wouldn't wear it every day, but if you do want light to medium, I mean light to medium coverage, then this is something that you might want if you do want a higher end foundation. And then with um, with that, just know that it it can. I think it might be a little bit buildable. Let's see if I can make it look better. I'm gonna use my sponge this time because the brush didn't make it look really good. So. I'm just gonna try to build that up. Okay, so yeah, if you want more coverage, you can add, you know, a little bit more. I added one more pump, but I would say this is a good foundation for people with very dry skin. I don't have dry skin, but um, during the winter months, I like to look dewy um, because I do have oily skin and um, I mean I do have combination skin and in the winter months I do get a little dry so I try to go for more illuminating stuff. Um, the foundation looks really really good and yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling it. It looks good to me. So, I do recommend it to people that are a little bit on the bougie side and want to buy the expensive stuff. You can buy this, sis, because it works. It looks good. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to have to give this foundation from on a scale from 1 to 10 an 8. Um, I like that it's light and it's not really heavy and it's buildable but um, with someone with hyperpigmentation or someone that wants to cover dark marks and circles and stuff like that it doesn't do a lot of that and um, yeah so I mean the foundation is really good itself but it lost two points for the you know coverage portion of it um, this is a very expensive foundation so yeah if I want to buy it again I'm gonna have to save my coins don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video